So what do we learn this week about Lantern Control? And uh, I don't even know what to say. Uh, the deck is apparently awesome. We That's the first time I've played it ever in my entire life. You saw my first ever matches with it. And we just really cruised through that league. And everything I heard about that deck going into it is it's good, but it's very hard. You got to be really like good at it. And maybe it just naturally fits my play style. I could see that because I do like ensnaring bridge decks and so forth. But it seemed like a natural fit. And we just cruised right through that league to a 5-0 finish. So... Ah, it's good, I guess. If you enjoy that style of deck, it's very powerful and seems to do a very good job of doing what it's intended to do. So uh, I would say if you're looking for a controlling deck, and this isn't control in the typical sense of the word with counter spells and Drago. This is a very unique style of control deck, but if you're looking for a control deck in modern and you have ensnaring bridges and some of the other expensive stuff, the Mox Opals, I would give it a shot. I think that it seems like it has game in a lot of matchups. People brought in the sideboard cards, they brought in their Shatter Storms, they brought in the Ancient Grudges, and we still just, the, our game plan makes it really difficult for our opponent to disrupt us with those cards because they almost have to just have them in their opening hand or draw them very early in the game because once the game gets going we are so good at making sure our opponent doesn't draw anything we don't want them to draw so even if they have answers in their deck it's very easy for us to make sure our opponent doesn't find them uh, so I think the deck seems very solid. I had a blast playing it. For me, it was super fun. I know that I like those style of decks, and you maybe you do, maybe you don't. I'm not really sure. So I guess it's up to your play style. It's kind of an acquired taste, and it's not for everyone. But if you enjoy that style of deck, kind of a prison-y, control-y deck, my only word of wisdom would be to... To practice it a bit, because there does seem to be a lot of interactions, you really have to know the matchups, and I think that's why I didn't struggle with it too much, even though it was my first time playing it. Uh, I know the matchups really well. The matchups, in some ways, you're looking for the same things you're looking for uh, when you're playing Free Win Red, which I've been playing a lot lately, because you're looking for uh, what can destroy my ensnaring bridges, what can uh, kill me through my lock pieces, and Lantern is asking those same questions and looking for those same cards so I think I naturally had a leg up over someone else who had never played it before just because in as weird as it sounds it is somewhat similar to playing free win red this is a much slower more controlling build of that but we're playing the lock game and the the idea and the theory of the deck is very similar to free win red in that you play cards that make sure your opponent uh, can't really do anything and then you do what you can to make sure your opponent doesn't get the answers to those cards free win red you're using like chalice of the void in this you're using uh, cards that control the top of your opponent's library but so I think that was my my kind of leg up in playing this deck is I did know what I was looking for. So if you're picking this up in the dark, especially if you're not well versed in modern, I would definitely practice it a lot. The other thing that you can run into is time issues. Uh, we didn't really run into that even when our opponents made us play out the whole thing and mill through their entire library. We never were really in danger of running out of time. We played a couple of long matches, but we were never in danger or having to really rush to because we were afraid we were going to run out of time. But I could imagine that also being an issue, so those are the two things I would say. Practice it, make sure you know what other decks are doing, because that's what Lantern Control is all about. It is 100% about what your opponent's doing, and you knowing enough about your opponent's deck and what matters in their deck to be able to make sure they don't draw those cards. So unless you really know Modern well, you're going to struggle with it. So look at your, at your opponent's deck, figure out what they're playing. Magic Online actually is a great tool for learning those matchups, because what you can do, and this is not cheating by any means, but if you run into opponent, uh, say that last match, where our opponent played Thing in the Ice, uh, you can go to Goldfish, type in Thing in the Ice, look at the deck list, find a framework of that deck list, and kind of have an idea of what's going on. How much 
burn in, is in this deck? Do I need to make sure my opponent's not drawing lightning bolts because I'm afraid I'm going to get burnt out? And of course, those evaluations change as the game goes along, uh, depending on your life total and all that kind of stuff. But do that. Play matches on Magic Online with the deck if you can. Look up the list your opponents are playing because you can't do that in paper. And you can't do that when you're in a playing a tournament in paper, but it'll help you learn those matchups. If your opponent plays a Tarmogoyf followed by a Liliana, look up Jund and you're not cheating or trying to figure out uh, your opponent's specific list or anything, but what kind of cards are you looking out for? Uh, Maelstrom Pulse, Abrupt Decay, uh, those are the things you're looking out for in the sideboard. It could be Ancient Grudge, and that helps you learn how to play Lantern Control and also makes you better at playing other decks. So in some sense, even though Lantern Control is an acquired taste and it's not for everyone, in some ways it's a great way to learn modern as a format because it forces you to learn every single deck in the format. You will not have success with Lantern Control unless you know what everyone else is doing. So to be good at Lantern Control, it makes you learn Jun and Affinity and Infect and all these different decks because what you do is 100% dependent on what your opponent does. So it's really neat like that and very unique and different. So I say give it a shot. I had a ton of fun playing with it. I think I'm somewhat addicted to it. I would not be surprised to find myself playing another league or two for fun because I had a a lot of fun as weird as it sounds playing with this deck so anyway it felt good it's a good way to learn the modern format forces yourself to do that but if you play it make sure to practice it before going to a tournament and like I said look up what your opponent's doing so you have an idea what you're looking out for to help you learn the matchups anyway that's been our much brew about nothing for this week thank you very much for watching I I hope you enjoyed the videos, and I will talk to you soon.